Snatch drunk. If you watched my favorites video, you might remember seeing Paperboy for NES on there. Recording footage for that was the first time I'd played it in years, so I figured, hey, what the hell, I want to keep these Thursday videos coming, so why not do a quick video about Paperboy? It's an extremely short game, with as basic a premise as you can get. You have to deliver a newspaper to your subscribers, come hell or high water. Literally, I mean, death is waiting for you right there, waiting to drag you to hell if you fail. But in the meantime, you know, he's just hanging out. Oh, hey, Death, what's up? How you been? Paperboy was originally an arcade game that was ported to about 20 different systems and platforms, including the NES, which is where I played it. And on the NES, it looks really goofy and plays really clunky. They kept the isometric viewpoint, which was really ambitious at the time, and it still looks okay. The controls take a bit to get used to, but none of that is important. The true appeal of this game is its absurdity. When you start the game on Monday, stuff is pretty calm. There's just your random citizen here and there, or a runaway, self-propelling lawnmower in your way. But as you progress through the week, things get absolutely chaotic. I mean, just look at this. The entire town wants this kid dead. What the hell did he do? I mean, besides trash the houses of people who dare not subscribe to his newspaper. Oh, you don't want to subscribe? We'll have 10 newspapers anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. I already made that joke in the other video, but I just freaking love that. You also got this guy who decided to try and pull on his tight hipster pants in the middle of the sidewalk. You've got this psychotic woman who is ready to chase after you and fuck up your shit if you don't deliver her goddamn paper. I love how she just keeps running even if you get her a paper. Ah, you son of a bitch, I'm gonna- Oh yeah, I was just gonna go this way the whole time, I swear. Anyway, you get the idea. I love crazy games like this. Does it hold up today? Well, it still makes me laugh today. Honestly, I've never played any of the other bazillion versions of this game, just the NES version. And it's really just one of those games you bust out once a year, have a good laugh for about 20 minutes, and put it away again, while wondering what in the hell possessed the residents of that town.